For me, the first experiences that I would remember of telling people would have never been a verbal thing. Um, I would have been a young hockey player, probably aged eight, nine, when you start showering. And I hadn't actually told any of my teammates. I would just shower like the rest of them. And then they would ask me questions and say, hey, what's that? And uh, I would just explain to them, well, you know, hey, I have this, uh, for me, this is a bag. This is what it looks like to them. And this is what the bag's for. This is what I do. And it's nice to be a young adult male in that case because they usually don't care. They just be like, oh, cool, yeah, whatever, that's Kevin. Okay, sure, he's got a bag. In my personal relationships, I have always tried to be really open and really transparent as well with um, telling people or telling a potential partner that I have IBD. And I've always made it something that's been a part of the dialogue very early on in the conversation, sometimes even first date, second date, uh, because you arrive at those same circumstances, whether it's um, dietary challenges or lifestyle stuff, if you're going to spend time with someone, you can have things that'll come up. Um, so in terms of developing that closeness together, um, letting them know about uh, how things are for your life and how you're unique can really be a good way of uh, developing that relationship and seeing where it goes from there. Uh, well, for me, I've always had very positive experiences with potential partners that I've told. I've never had anyone um, choose not to continue on getting to know me because of that. And the people seemed the people that I've shared it with have always seemed to care more about me as a person than they did about um, the fact that I had IBD. After I was diagnosed at 16, I still had two more years of high school left, and. Um, at that point, I just pushed through it through myself, or all by myself. I didn't share it with um, any of my friends, actually. It was only my family that knew. And if I was sick, it's because I had the flu, and that's, that's all they knew. Um, the first person I told um, was one of my friends in university. Then, in my third year of university, I then felt comfortable enough to speak um, in the student center for um, the Center for Student Development. From there, I connected with other doctors, um, you know, at um, at the hospital nearby, and and helped form, um, uh, you know, a Crohn's and Colitis Foundation chapter at McMaster. It was absolutely incredible, and um, yeah, it was nice to see more students, I guess, come out because I felt I could relate with that. You know, connect with your friends and lean on them for support and have confidence in doing so. Um, I think it can be pretty scary to share that with your friends and worry if they're gonna turn around and you, you might feel some peer pressure, but um, it's, it's worth it. And chances are, you know, there's, there's lots of other things out there. And if they're really your friends, they wanna be by your side.